Okay, so we, we have been buying for the last six days every day, and it has been <laughs> unbelievably slow until really uh, late last night when we finally reached agreement on something very important, which was how to calculate an equity increase for the membership. This would be for people who have passed at least one major review, who's, who will get some salary bumps to make up for the kind of the, sh the shortcomings of their current salary. Um, once that happened, we then exchanged some salary proposals during the day. And by around six o'clock, we basically felt that they had made enough movement that uh, they were in fact trying to get an agreement with us. Uh, they moved over $10,000 on the starting salaries in Ann Arbor. The other really important piece was that on the equity increases, which is basically you know dollars per year of service, originally the Clinton Dearborn was getting I think two-thirds of what Ann Arbor was getting, and in their latest proposal, it's almost the same, especially for long-serving Lex. And so that was really important uh, that people were being treated the same. We felt no gains on the annual basis, but we felt that with those two big pieces going in a good direction, even though we weren't ready to s sign off on the contract and send it out to the membership for ratification, we felt that they had made sufficient movement that we could call off the strike. I think the strike threat, along with the unbelievable outpouring of support that we got from students, uh, tenure track faculty, uh, the other the grad student union on, in Ann Arbor, as well as just all the PR and and the from the sort of broader uh, Michigan community, um, state legislators writing letters to the administration and so on, that definitely helped move them. Um, them, but not enough, right? This is still not enough. Um, $45,000 a year is much better than $34,000 a year, but it is not, it's still not a living wage for a family, right? It's, it's, um, so we'll, we'll keep fighting. We're going back to the bargaining table sometime this week. Uh, we, had, we agreed with management that we need a day of rest <laughs> after this, and that we'll talk on Tuesday and figure out um, whether to maybe meet early in the week or to just meet on our regular Friday bargaining day. Uh, but uh, both sides would like to get this done by the end of April. We are uh, we're not interested in dragging this into the summer. And we are confident that we can still get the kind of contract that we're really hoping for.